1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 11 says, Nevertheless, neither is man independent of woman, nor woman independent of man in the Lord. Now, we heard what 1 Corinthians 11, 11 says. Now, this means that you being the man of the house or the head of the house or the leader of the team does not mean that you are the begin all and the end all, that you are the one that will solely take decision that will affect everybody in the house without consulting the wife. Remember, the Bible said the woman is a helpmate. It means that you cannot operate independently, neither can the woman operate independently. Yet, the Bible is talking about teamwork. It's talking about teamwork, meaning that before you take the decisions, you have to also consult the woman. Before the woman, the wife take want to take decision, consult. Like talking about unity, you know, talking about unity, teamwork. I remember growing up, there's one thing my father used to do that I that I, I, I kind of, I, I like it because it does make sense and I'm applying it in my present family. Before my dad would take a decision, he would call a family meeting. He would say, everybody come. If, no matter how young we were then, he would allow our input. And I saw that as a very wise and something to emulate. So I, I'm, I apply it. If I want to do anything with my children, I will ask them. If I want to, if there's anything I want to suggest, we'll call a family meeting. You know, it's a very good, that way it allows everybody to put in their you know put in their input it makes everybody to feel important and feel the need you know that we are in a team we are in this together okay so being the man of the house does not mean that you are the lion of the tribe of the household when you come everybody should run under the bed and hide because oh the lion of the tribe of the household is coming the the one that nobody can talk to no you are the one to show good example and women Women, like I said before, your place is a helpmate. Don't try to drag the headship with a man. No, you are not designed, like I said that before. We are not designed for that responsibility. No, don't try to. Except, I know these days, you know, life with what is happening now, the enemy is attacking marriage and then singlehood and divorce is being in the rise because, yeah, the enemy is all out to fight marriage, to fight families. That's the, that's the aim of the, uh, 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 that's the aim of the enemy because the Bible says in John 10, 10 verse said that he has come to steal, to kill, to destroy. He knows God is interested in family. The main reason God created man was family, was to institute family. He knows that is God's pet project and that's why he keeps attacking it now if life throws you into that situation and thank god for for technology it's bringing out a lot of things to assist in that and you see yourself single and you have to do you know you have to you have to, you have to perform the responsibility of the head time doing the responsibility of the woman that's fine we understand our prayers are all asked for you god will send support and thank god for technology that is coming in to make life way way easier and all that but apart from that you know the man is designed for that responsibility while the woman is designed to support, to complete. Because, I mean, the man is made from dust and the woman is made from the finished product of the man. So the woman is more refined intellectually, is more refined intellectually than the man. And that is why St. Paul, that, you know, now said, nobody is, don't operate single-handedly, you know, collaborate and build that family because look the woman is in agreement with god you know to produce destinies you know that's the work of the that that's the assignment of the woman as in that's why she's giving womb she is in a project she's in agreement she's in a collaboration with god to produce destinies so that's her own role. That's her own assignment. So she cannot be doing that at the same time she's shouldering. No, we're not designed for that. While the man is designed to protect, to be the savior of this household. You see, that's division of labor. So my gender, stop you know, dragging that position. It doesn't make sense. It's not script scripturally you know, permitted. So let's not even go there because that would be like standing against God's authority and God's design. Okay. So if you have a young male around you, let us start this challenge and start, you know, putting in that positive 
mindset of what being a man truly is according to scriptures let's stop you know meddling with culture and what the bible says you know so let us match you know, let us match bible verse with bible and then culture let's put culture aside some of us we try to mix culture with what the bible says the bible say you being the man you are the savior you are the savior you are the savior where people fail where there's a but you make sure it is right that's what the meaning of savior is and i pray for every head you know that god that is hearing the sound of my voice god will help you god will support you to actually do the assignment and now i want to also say this thing sometimes you will see there is kind of inside our house so there's kind of you know chaos or trouble or something like that the woman is not submitting the man is not being the head or his head is not heading if such things starts happening where there is kind of you know chaos in the in the in the in the hierarchy in the household that's when we need to go back to go back to god in prayer now the man asks yourself are you doing your assignment are you being the head indeed or is there a headache is there a spiritual headache that is attacking your head we have so many diseases that attack the head alzheimer's disease we have headache we have migraine there are spiritual migraine there are spiritual headache there is spiritual alzheimer's forgetfulness and things like that the enemy attacks the head that's video for another day you know deliverance of the head that would be a video and not that teaching altogether now if you see that your household there is chaos there is not organized you know ms33 is not actually working then go back to god and put your hand upon you say lord you are the one that gave me this assignment my household needs help help my head and deliver your head and then the woman, if you are not submitting, what is your problem? What's the color of your problem? If submitting is also difficult for you, also go back to God in prayer. Say, Lord, give me the spirit of humility. Let me stay on my lane. Let me stay in, in the assignment you have given to me. And let me deliver it to the glory of your name. Because this thing is, you know, even though marriage is between, is between two people, there is a third party there. Guess who is the third party? God is the third party. The invisible third party that is taking note of everybody's action. So if you're not doing your headship very well, God is taking note. And you just know that if you're not doing your assignment very well, it will also affect every other department in the house. You see that every other thing will just start going wrong. Once that happens, as a man of God, as the spiritual head of your household, go back to your head. Because the Bible says Christ is the head of the man. Go to your head and report. Oga, the department that you gave to me, things are not, they are not listening to me. Just the way it happens in organizations. If your subordinates are not listening to you, if you are not taking instructions, what do you do? You go back to your boss. You go to your boss and say, hey, boss, they are not listening to me. I gave this instruction. They are not following instruction. Bam. Guess what the boss is going to do? The boss will step into action. That's what you're supposed to do as the head of the family, as the man of the house. If your household if there is problem somewhere, if your head is not heading, if your headship is not head or your or your being a man is not manning enough, go back to your head and report and say, Lord, there is something. I mean, make sure you have done everything you need to do. Make sure you are not lying to your household. Make sure your, your integrity is upright. Make sure you're doing your duty as per, as per, you know? Make sure you're doing everything. Make sure you're dotting all eyes and crossing all things because perhaps it is not working because you are lacking integrity. Maybe it's not ha happening or maybe your subordinates, your wife and children are not submitting to you because or maybe your children are not obeying you or your wife is not submitting to you because you are not performing your duty. So make sure too that you being the head and the man of the house, make sure you're doing what you're supposed to do. And if you're doing everything you're supposed to do and it is not happening, and you know, things are not moving well, that means your headship has been attacked. And that's why you have to go back to God in prayer, who is actually your own head, and to report this situation. And then there will be healing. Thank you everyone that is listening. Please do well to subscribe to this channel. If you have any male, any son, any brother, any husband, share this video. You never can tell who you'll be helping and delivering from that negative mindset of what 
being a man is actually it is it is the real meaning okay and again there is this button that says thanks kindly click on that thanks button and support this channel with whatever god lays in your heart and uh, yes comment i want to hear from you until i see you in another video shalom bye bye